Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to take a little bit of a look at a bunch of new items which have gone and appeared over on the Pokemon Center over in the US, as well as a collaboration that is a little bit mysterious. Although I can't really say we didn't see it coming because it was kind of announced a while ago, but it's something that's got me rather interested indeed. But we might as well start off today having a little bit of a look at Eevee, because you know what? Turns out people really like Eevee nowadays. We've had that old Eevee hero set and Evolving Skies has been coming out or is coming out in the not too distant future. Eevee is hot right now. Everybody likes Eevee. And it seems like Pokemon are capitalizing on this with the release of some Eevee merchandise. Now remember back in May, we did actually have an Eevee playmat which was gone and released. It was just a playmat. Well, now they've gone and expanded the range. We've got an Eevee deck box and a set of Eevee sleeves that looks suspiciously similar in design to the playmat. Essentially, what Pokemon have gone and done is just completed the range. Sleeves, playmat, deck box, that is pretty standard. That is what we usually expect for things along these lines. So that makes absolute perfect sense. Now, the deck box is one of these fancy ones Pokemon tends to do, which will actually fit a full deck with room for tokens and extras just in case. You've got some dividers. Now, the dividers are beautiful here. One of them's got Espeon and Umbreon. And then, presumably, the others have got the Gen 1 EVs. And then you've got Leafeon and Glaceon. The little takeout box that's the little box you have for counters and dice and things of that nature that goes in next to the deck box does have the gen oneers and sylveon because poor sylveon doesn't have a partner and often gets forgotten so yeah this is kind of cool on the front of the box you've just got eevee and then they're all little underneath and then on the back of the box you've got all of the evolutions a little bit bigger no eevee just the evolutions and then you've got that lovely stylized look at all of the different energy symbols and it's a very cool deck box as i record not yet sold out might want to get on it if you're into it but if you don't want a deck box you'd rather have some sleeves good news there are sleeves as well and as it stands at the moment, the sleeves are also not yet sold out. Now here you've got Eevee as the main Pokemon right in the middle, but flanked by his or her Eeveelutions at the top and the bottom. So you've got your Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon and Espeon on the top. And then Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon and Sylveon on the bottom. Really wish they'd swap Sylveon and Espeon around. It's weird that they've got a 3 and a 1 that they haven't put together. And then they split up Umbreon and Espeon. That to me sounds a little bit rude. So yeah, I would very much like it if that could be fixed please. Thank you. So there's all the new Eevee stuff coming along, but it turns out Ball Guy is coming back as well. And this, of course, makes perfect sense, because when I showed you that Eevee playmat a month or so ago, I showed you a Ball Guy playmat as well. Well, the good news is that we've got the Ball Guy deck box. Now, I should say this is $13, just like the Eevee one, and it is very much like the Eevee one. We've got a deck box whereby you open it up and it's magnetic closing and you've got a space to write your name on there, which is really kind of lovely. Then you've got your little box to put your count and stuff in to go in next to your deck. You've got a couple of dividers. And I love this Ball Guy deck box. It's very cool. Now, Ball Guy himself is a bit weird. I'm still not sure how I feel about it. But what I love about the design of the deck box is you've got the whole Pokeball thing, the red with a black stripe and the white underneath. But then in the white stripe, you've got little silhouettes of all that, it, well, maybe not all of them, but many different types of Pokeball. And that makes me very happy indeed. It is a very cool design. It's one that I think we should all be pretty gosh darn happy about. But if you don't want to spend $13 on a deck box, maybe you want to go and spend $8 on some sleeves. And again, I love this because Pokemon are just completing the set. We've seen the Ball Guy playmat. 
We've now seen the Ball Guy deck box, and now we've got Ball Guy sleeves to carry on and complete the set. So if you want to go over to a tournament and be properly Ball Guyed up, you absolutely can. And that makes me very, very happy indeed. I love the design, like I've said, with the silhouettes in the white. I'm not sure how I feel about Ball Guy, but if you are a fan of Ball Guy, you might want to be pretty gosh darn happy right about now. Now, when I showed you these things a little while ago, one of the other things that I showed you was a Galarian Surfetched playmat. Well, weirdly, we don't have a deck box. Where is the Eevee and the Ball Guy got deck box and sleeves to go with the previous playmat? Here we've just got sleeves, no deck box. Does that mean we'll be getting a Galarian Surfetch deck box in the future? I don't know. Maybe. But what we've got here are Galarian Surfetch sleeves with the black, grey or silver, yellowy gold. I'm not good with colours, right? I'm colourblind. But we've got that same kind of free colour motif going on. What I kind of like about this is that unlike Ball Guy and Eevee, we've actually got a different design here. Now don't get me wrong, we've still got the same three colours being represented. We've still got Galarian Surfetched not coloured in on the same colour background, etc. But we have a different pose of Surfetched. For those who have been paying attention, there are actually two official images of Galarian Surfetched. One charging forward with the leak, one standing still holding it up. And both of them are being represented on the sleeves here. So that's pretty cool. And brand new, not related to a playmat that came out in May, we've got more Pico sleeves. Now, the design of this is half and half, representing more Pico's full belly form and more Pico's hangry form. And look, I know that they are using, as they tend to do on these kind of products, the stock Ken Sugimori images. I know we've got the stock full belly more Pico and the stock hangry more Pico. But it really stresses me out that they don't meet perfectly. That the Hangry More Pico is a bit smaller, so we don't actually meet. And I know the images don't line up. I completely understand this. I know that to have them meeting up would need to be completely redrawn, and even then it might not work. I get all of this. I completely understand, and I don't really care. It makes me genuinely sad. If these met perfectly in the middle, I would really want these, but they don't. And that makes me very, very sad indeed. I know it's a little point, and I know for many of you it probably doesn't matter, and all I can do is apologise. But, I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen, this makes me a little bit sad. And the final piece of news we need to talk about today might not even be TCG news. Now I hope it is, but we don't actually know. You see, Oreo went and tweeted out, Our newest collab in September is going to be... Lightning. Can you guess what it is, trainers? Here are some more hints. Grass, fire, water. Now, we knew when the whole 25th anniversary thing was revealed, we did actually get a list of companies that were going to be partnering with Pokemon for the 25th anniversary. I believe Oreo was listed. I could be wrong about this, but I believe Oreo were listed at the time. Well, here, it is very, 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 very clear and obvious that this is actually what's going to be the case here. That makes absolutely perfect sense. It, it would be extremely strange to me at this stage if it wasn't a Pokemon collaboration. Not to mention the fact it's got the lightning for Pikachu, it's got the grass, fire, and water for the first partner Pokemon, and they're even using the word trainers, which is a clear Pokemon hint. And then you've got the lightning around the Oreo. It's obviously hinting at the Pokemon collaboration. So at some point in September, there is going to be a collaboration between Oreo and Pokemon. Now, I tweeted this out at the time when I saw this yesterday. I love Pokemon, as I think is pretty obvious at this stage. I love Oreo. You may or may not know that, but Oreo cookies are delicious. And because they're an American brand, I'm even all right calling them cookies rather than biscuits, which is not something I do lightly over here in the UK. So what is it going to be? Like, we know that McDonald's had a TCG promotion, but that's to be expected because McDonald's has TCG promotions. Nobody should be surprised that McDonald's went Pokemon cards, 
because McDonald's go Pokemon cards. And we know that General Mills went Pokemon cards. But then again, we've seen in the past that General Mills has had a Pokemon promotion. where There's been TCG cards. So again, that makes perfect sense. Okay. Oreo, as far as I am aware, haven't done this before. I don't think Oreo have actually had a Pokemon collaboration. And also, and I hate to say this, and I don't know if this just sounds a little bit weird, but how do you make it work? Like, how do you get a Pokemon card into a packet of Oreos? Now, I'm, of course, thinking the way they are generally done over here, which is to say long, thin packs. Of course, you could get them into boxes. And we have actually had an Oreo promotion in Hong Kong before, but I don't believe... And again, the image on the screen is from Nintendo Soup here. I don't believe that was a TCG promotion. So... Yeah, I want there to be Oreo Pokemon cards. I want there to be Pokemon cards with the Oreo stamp. We know something is going on between Pokemon and Oreo. If you made me guess, I would tell you it probably isn't TCG related. But that honestly makes me sad to think about. I desperately want to be wrong. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got new Pokemon sleeves and deck boxes. No playmats this time round. Just sleeves and deck boxes. But they are basically completing the sets with the playmats. And there's something going on with Oreo which probably isn't trading cards. But I'm crossing my fingers that it actually is. But now I want to know what you think about all of these new products. I want to know what you think about this Oreo collaboration and what you think it might be. So go nuts in the comment section. But be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching. PTCG Radio.